Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a super cool function in DAX. This is the all selected function. Definitely not a function you need all the time. Not something you're going to build into every data model. But when you need it, it is just one of those really, really cool functions. And so we're going to take a look at that today. We're going to set a little bit of a baseline here. We're going to take a look at the all function first, what that does, and then really what it doesn't do, and how we can use all selected to kind of bring that to the rescue. So that's what we're going to be doing here in this video. So let's jump right in and take a look. So over here on my demo tab, we have a very simple report. We have country, total sales, and we're able to see our total sales filtered by country. Now, if we wanted to do something like a percent of total and compare maybe country sales to total sales, we then have to start using the calculate function to evaluate our expression within a modified filter context, right? We've done this. This is not new. So I've created a measure over here and the measure that I've created is called total sales, all countries. And if we take a look at this, what this measure does, it says evaluate total sales where we are ignoring any filters that are coming from the country column in the sales territory table. In other words, this should now show right here, 9 million in sales for Australia, 29 million in sales all times. 1.9 million for Canada, 29 million all times. So let's just put it in there, put it in the table and take a look. Now we're using the all function and what the all function does right here is the all function says ignore all filters that are coming from the country column, whether they're coming from a filter specifically in this visual itself, from a slicer visual, from the filters pane, from your boss, it doesn't matter. It's going to ignore all filters coming from that column. That's what all does. So for example, if I come up here and I click the slicer, we're still getting 29 million, right? It's ignoring that filter. And most of the time, quite frankly, this is what you want. That's great but sometimes you don't. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, I've also created another measure here called percent of total. And all we're doing is we're simply dividing total sales by total sales, all countries. So I'll grab that and drop that right here in the table. And this solves that percent of total calculation. This is a beautiful thing. Now here's the problem with the all function. It ignores all the filters regardless of where they come from, right? If it's, if it's being filtered, by that country column from that geography table, my sales territory table, it ignores that filter no matter what. And so let's say that you're an end user and you're interacting with this report and you come up here to the top and you grab Australia and you grab Canada and you grab France and you start looking at this and you're like, well, I want to be able to see Australia percent of total based on the countries I've selected right in the slicer. So you still need it to ignore if you look at it right here, I need this total sales all countries to ignore the filter that's coming from Australia, ignore that filter on the row in this visualization specifically. However, if I'm getting an outside filter, a filter that's coming from, for example, a slicer like this, I want you to respect that one. So therefore, instead of seeing 29 million right here, what you would see instead is you would see the total of the three countries that are being selected. And that's what that 13.6 million right there represents. And so we want that 13.6 to show up in that total sales all countries so that we can say 9 million divided by that. This is Australia's percent of sales based on that grouping. This is Canada. And so this really depends. Like a lot of times you might not want this, right? But in this situation, your end users have called you up. They're looking at the report. They're doing some interaction with it and you want to give them what they want. So how do you solve it? There's been a lot of times that I'm doing one-on-one -on -one virtual mentoring with customers at Pragmatic Works, or I'm doing kind of one-on-one -on -one consulting. And uh, this is the problem, right? This is what we're trying to work through. And it's, uh, I love these because it's always like one of those things that's super, super hard if you don't know and never been introduced to the concept. But once you know it, you know it, right? It's like from that day forward, it's like super easy to solve. So let me show you exactly what this looks like here. I think, no, I haven't done it yet. I haven't created the measure. So we're going to do that live, uh, which is like all selected. It's not really something challenging here. And so what we're going to do is instead of saying all, ignore all filters that are coming from the country, we're going to say ignore all except for what's been selected. So we'll choose all selected. The definition here says it returns all the rows in a table or all the values in a column, ignoring any filters that may have been applied. That's the exact same definition as all up to this point. And then it says inside the query. 
but keeping filters that come from outside. The first time I ever read the definition of this or really understood it is when I was reading the book by the SQL BI guys, right? Alberto Ferrari and, um, man, it's early. It's early in the morning. I can't remember his name. Unbelievable. Marco Russo. Uh, those guys, right? The Italians. And so the first time I ever read it, and they were talking about these inner filters and outer filters, and I got utterly confused. And then they started talking about these one-off situations where it doesn't work. Um, but those guys are brilliant, right? And so that was the first time I was ever introduced to this whole concept of the inside query and the outside query, the inside filters and the outside filters. And that's what out, all selected does. So the filter that's on the visual specifically that's on the row, that's the inside query. So all selected is ignoring it just like it does with the all function. However, it is respecting and keeping the filters that are coming from outside, which is what the slicer does. And so this is just a magical function here. Let's take a quick look at what the results are. And then you know what? Hmm. I don't want to change it yet. I want you to see that we're at all. Let's remove all filters here. There we go. I'm going to go into it one more time. We'll change it to all selected. And you'll notice that when I change it to all selected, everything looks identical at the first level before we apply additional filters, right? So we hit enter here. Let's get rid of our formula bar. Everything looks identical. Now, if I come in here and say, let's take a look at United States and, oh, look at that. It's 100% of the total. If you were using all, it would have been like 30% of the total, right? Because it would be comparing United States to all countries. But now because we're using all selected, it's comparing it to just the one that's been selected. If I come over here and choose United Kingdom, you see that we're not seeing 29 million here. We're seeing the total row. We're seeing 12 million. We're only seeing the total for the countries that have been selected in our slicer. If we grab Australia, it's now working, right? This is a beautiful function. This is a beautiful thing. And so this is one of my favorite functions because it gives you a lot of flexibility. Maybe you want to see a percent of total for all countries, regardless of what's being selected. Well, if that's what you want to do, you're going to stick with the all function. But if you want it to be a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more flexible, where your end users can go to different departments, they can go to different regions, you know, they can, they can be more specific, then you might use all selected here because all selected says, hey, ignore the filters that are on the rows or that are inner to that visualization. So the filters that are directly inside of that visual on the X axis, in the rows, in the, you know, in the columns of a matrix, but respect any filters that are coming from outside or keep any filters that are coming from outside like the slicer. There you go, that's the whole video. Not a whole lot here. Most of it was pre-baked and ready to go. If you like this video, like always, please hit subscribe, hit the like button. That bumps it up a little bit higher in the YouTube search functionality, I think. I'm not a you know marketing person, I don't know. Share it with your family and friends. And if you enjoyed it, keep, uh, keep an eye out because I'll be doing many more videos in the future. Thank you and have a good rest of your week.